One thing's for sure, Rangers will be top of the tree in the SPL at Christmas. But by how many points, that's the question. Stephen Davis sees a chance for Kyle Lafferty, unmarked. And he tugs it wide. A real chance for Rangers to get themselves ahead. A big hole appeared in the Sitmir in defence, but Lafferty didn't quite catch the shot. Bocanegra to Papach. Brilliantly judged for Lee Wallace, charging into the box and scoring! His first Rangers goal, and Wallace gets Rangers ahead. He was onside. 11 minutes in, his strength and determination into the box and prodded the ball past Samson and Rangers ahead. Jelovic with quick feet, great skills and winning the free kick. It's Greg Wilde to deliver but the whistle goes before the ball gets into the penalty box down went Graham Carey and it's a red card for Lee McCulloch the Rangers midfielder sent off for that elbow on Carey as the two were jostling for position inside the box Kenny McLean's corner, it came off Thompson and that looked to be chested off the line by Stephen Davis Paul McGowan Aaron Moy still going, it's Moy, it's 1-1 44 minutes and St Mirren get what they feel they deserve at the end of the first half, it's a blistering strike from Moy in off the inside of the post and the leaders are pegged back Jelovic losing possession forward goes Van Zanten it's Paul McGowan it's 2-1 inside stoppage time it's virtually the last kick of the first half and St Mirren have turned this game around against 10-man Rangers Great timing on the run from McGowan. The pass from Van Zanten was perfect, and so was the finish. Rangers have lost only once in 19 SPL matches this season. They're in grave danger here, unless they can do something pretty dramatic. Here's Stephen Davis. Through for Nikisa Jelovic. What a chance, what a miss. Rangers top scorer should have squared the game. Baron casual with the crossfield pass, and that lets in Aluko. It's Shawnee Aluko heading for the byline, right across goal. No one took the gamble in the middle. Right across the face of Craig Sampson here. Gary Teal doing the chasing. Across goes Doreen Goyan, who tugs the shirt of the St. Mirren substitute. And that's going to be a yellow card. And no real complaint about that one. Kenny McLean, it's away from Goyan. Is that another shirt tug from the Romanian centre back? certainly is, it's a second yellow card it's red for Goyan and Rangers will finish this match with nine men and it was a mirror image of booking number one lost by Aluko McLean for Nigel Hasselbank he's played in Paul McGowan this could run things off, it's McGowan, and it's kicked off the line. It was Sasa Papac who got himself in the way to make the clearance, but 2-1 looks like being enough for St Mirren. 
very proud of them um, and the manner and the way they went about their business. You know, to go another goal down and to come back and get the level of performance that we did, more so the first half, second half, you know, because most of our own problems, as I say, is um, we could have kept the ball a little bit better at times. And I think that was a situation that we're maybe no used to being in a situation like that, that you're winning against the old firm. And that's what I just said to them there, with the level of the quality and what we're producing, and, and, and most weeks, get used to it. What about the two goals from the two boys? Yeah, terrific. Everything that you're asking. Uh, again, Paul today has been absolutely exceptional for us throughout the full uh, campaign this season. And, um, you know, if we continue to do that, you know, I thought he had had that one uh, wrapped up for us at the end. And if that's a fault that I have with him, that he doesn't get enough goals. Well, Paul, you must be uh, delighted at your performance and the team performance, although it was a little bit nervy at the end. Yeah, definitely. You know, the second half, we didn't play as well as we could, you know, and the first half I thought we were excellent. Every one of the boys showed great character when we went to go down, you know, we got our just rewards in the end. You've got your fifth goal this season, but what about Aaron Moyes first? Oh, great, you know, that's, he does it week in and week out in training, you know, he's got that in his locker, just goes in and out of games and then comes up with a goal like that, it's incredible. The manager's here for the long term. Obviously, everybody wants you to look up the table. Are you capable of yeah. replicating what you did today? No, definitely. You know, our performances that we've shown, we definitely a top six team. No doubt about that. And we just need to be more consistent. And I think we'll do that. Well, I thought, um, well, the sending off definitely changes the game of that. There's no doubt. I thought we started fairly well. Um, we definitely lost our way after the sending off. And, um, Certainly could have defended better for the two goals. Second half, um, I thought the the attitude and the commitment from the players was very, very good, to be honest with you. Um, so, I mean, there's no doubt about it, the sending off changed the game. Lee McCulloch was a surprised man that he got a straight red card. You've had a look at the incident, what did you make of it? Um, I think it's harsh, to be honest with you. Um, I've got to be very truthful. Referee, you would imagine, has to be 100%. Um, convinced um, I'm not Are you going to appeal? Don't know yet, we'll have a look at it um, The other probably um, disappointing thing from the, from that particular incident was the ball went in the back of the net So, um, but no, we'll, we'll have a look at it and then we'll decide whether we go for an appeal or not Obviously there's a double blow you lose Goyan as well Yeah, it was uh, obviously the referee saw it that was another yellow card for the two yellows um, that is a big disappointment, obviously, for us. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll regroup. We'll definitely be ready for Wednesday, if that, there's no doubt. So we'll hopefully get Kyle Bartley, obviously, and, and, and maybe one or two others that will be ready to come in. I presume, though, in the game, looking at the game itself, did you feel, even with nine men, that you might have been able to snatch something? I did. We certainly had chances. Uh, second half, definitely, look who made a difference when we switched them on the right-hand side. He created one or two things. Um, Jelovic had a, a good chance when Steve Davis broke through from Middle of the Park. Um, and I, I did feel that we could have got another goal, an equalising goal, but it wasn't to be.